It's going to be absolutely hilarious. Kyogre. This guy had two legendaries. What the hell are the odds of that? What is up, all you beautiful people? It is your boy, Michael, here with Playthroughs Rio, bringing you another episode of our hardcore man randomized Nuzlocke featuring Pokemon Fire Red. If you guys are new to the channel, I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want that hot daily Pokemon content, I'm your dude. For the rest of you that are returning, thank you so much. And again, I just want to take this time to give a special shout out to my patrons over at Patreon. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your support. So, we're going to be digging deep in today's episode and trying to make sure that we make all our way all the way to uh, Team Giovanni without any casualties or the leader, Giovanni. We have to make our way through Team Rocket. But I feel like it's going to be relatively pretty straightforward right until we get to Giovanni anyway. I don't anticipate losing any mods, but you never know. Especially since we have no idea what typing anything is. It's always a surprise. Anything could happen. Literally anything. That's how we lost our beautiful Shell Shock. Still fat rip. But so far this run has been going real well. I'm like, I don't wanna I don't wanna curse it. I don't wanna jinx it. But I gotta be honest with you. So far it's been pretty smooth. I was real worried though. We're starting to run out of heals. A little bit. Just a little bit. But that's alright. We've done it. Bunch of items in here. Black glasses? Oh, that's so good. That's so good. What do I even have on Donkey Kong? Black incense? Yeah, whatever. Black glasses? So good. I love that. I I love randomized Nuzlocke's man. Everything just makes me so happy. It really does. This is a TM, I believe. Whirlpool. <laughs> I guess that's odd. <laughs> Okay. Let's go ahead over here and get this item. A dive ball, right? Anything else over here? Nope. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Michael, you simple brained man. You're so smooth brained. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Or whenever you're watching this. Hopefully, you're having a good time. I know I am. I'm loving these recordings, and I kind of feel like, you know, a little bit of the pressure pressure is off since we're past the beginning of the game here, because that really is the most difficult part of these runs, especially in Gen 1. There's just long stretches of trainers between towns, and there's not a lot of room for error. We got lucky starting with Donkey Kong. So big. So huge. Really was. I am very pumped, though, to start getting into those legendary static encounters. That's a T-Tar. That is a Tyranitar. Just go ahead with Fane Attack here. He didn't bring him in. Oh, he did resist it. Please don't be psychic. Hydro Pump. Okay. Crush Claw. This must be Steel type. I'm thinking Steel type. I'm thinking this is Steel type, which is makes me feel a lot better because it's not Psychic or Bug. That was a crit though. Fan attack. Probably gonna have to heal soon, which isn't an issue. Donkey Kong is level 31 for sure after that. For sure. Sneasel. Bring Ace back in. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm definitely gonna heal before we hit get to Giovanni. I'm gonna try and make it so we don't have to before we get to Giovanni. But <laughs> hopefully I can make it. 
We're not really pressed for heals, to be completely honest. We've only used one in Celadon since we've gotten into the area, so... It's not the worst. Zack is also level 27. I, honestly, I kind of feel better leading with Roy with Moonlight than I do with Ace and potentially taking a water move. Super Potion? That's a good healing item for us. All healing items are good healing items because we can't buy any from the Marts. What do we got here? Zatu? Okay. We're definitely going to go for Moonlight here. We outspeed, which is good. We get that free half HP heal. And hopefully this just isn't super effective against us. Block, that means we can't switch, right? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we're not weak. Okay, cool. That should one hit. Nope. Close. Spikes, that's going to do damage to anything that we switch into. Looks like we're going to be keeping Roy in. Alright. This is a high defensive Mon. Sky Uppercut. Not very effective. That's not good for us. Pin Missile. Okay. Looks like it's Bug type, so not the worst. Could be a lot worse for sure. We're going to go with a Vital Throw here. <clears throat> Fury Cutter. Okay. Did one damage. It's so good for us. Yeah, we're just going to keep using Vital Throw. He's stuck in Fury Cutter. It's going to get a little bit more powerful, but from 1 damage to 4 damage, I'm not really concerned. And we crit. I didn't even know if that move could crit or not, but found out it can. I was actually unaware if it could. Reversal. Mm, what does this move do again? Well, attack becomes more powerful as HP the user has. Nope, because we will never want our HP to be low. That is not a good time for us. Trap Hinch. We're fine. We are fine. And he didn't want to bring this Pokemon in, so it might be weak to us? Nope. It's not very effective. Poison Fang. Okay. That is unfortunate. But I thought about healing anyway. So it's not the worst. I had already debated healing, so... It's fine. I'd rather have it happen now than right after we heal. So we'll just run out of here and go heal. And we'll switch our lead to Monty. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I'll end up switching that back. I just don't like leading with Monty because his moveset is just not, it's not good. I would love to learn a move that's at least 100% accuracy. That way we can really get in there guaranteed. This is going to be our second heal at Celadon City. We have Saffron unlocked. We also have Lavender Town unlocked. So I'm not really too concerned. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heals at our disposal in this area of the map, and that's a lot, to be completely honest. Um, we'll put Ace in front here. That's fine. We're definitely going to make it to Giovanni today. We don't have that many trainers left to go through. <clears throat> We've got like four more, maybe. Maybe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Oh, Walren, no oh, baby. Please do not be a water type. Or a ground type. That would be bad. Okay, cool, super effective, that's good. That's good. Kingdra. I would, that's a, that's a mod I would love to have. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Not very effective. Could be a water type. Clamp. It is a water type. 
at least, unlike in Generation 1, we can continue to attack, so we should be able to KO this Kingdra. Especially since we did over half the first time. Good stuff. Didn't lose that much HP. Lost 23. That's fine. There's a TM down here. We're going to snag Endeavor. Uh, that is the one where it matches the HP, I believe. Okay. Don't want to run and accidentally mess up. <laughs> Stop meddling, Team Rocket's affairs. You don't tell me how to live my life. I'm a 10-year-old child. It's Esteban. <laughs> Let's go for that flamethrower. I know this is normal type from our encounter of trying to obtain one earlier. Zach is level 28. Pound? Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, Raikou. Okay. This calls for Monty. Even though his moveset's not the best, there is a really good type that whatever type Raikou is, we're going to end up resisting. So let's just go for Fly here. See what happens. Vice Grip. Okay. Looks like that's a normal type move. Get our beautiful speed boost. Cool. So it looks like it's just normal type which is good news for us. We'll just go for another fly again. No sense in potentially missing with a 75 accuracy move when we've got the 95 one. And we KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. Have we gotten a legendary in every run so far? I do not remember. Honestly, I don't. I think we have. If I'm being honest, I think we have. Let's go for Iron Tail. Let's see if we can hit. We do. Is it a one hit? It is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think we're going to be able to take this EXP share off Zack soon. Like next level soon. Lemonade? Huge. Huge. Another healing item. Energy powder, another healing item. Oh my gosh, back to back. What? Helping hand, that's trash. Not a good one. Who has the lift key? I wonder who has the lift key. You smug son of a bitch. <laughs> a Rayquaza, okay, wow. We know why he is so smug now. I think this was weak though. I think we fought it last time with Ace. It was. Oh. I swear if Rayquaza is a bug mon, that's going to be hilarious. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. Kyogre. This guy had two legendaries. What the hell are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? Wow. Spite. Okay, so this is ghost type. By four big oof there but that's all right all good all good we KO here for sure is Zach level 29 nope he's not okay let's go ahead and get that lift key that he drops <laughs> what a legend all right I'm gonna switch put Roy in front No, that is not what I wanted to do. This is normally a rare candy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what are the odds that that did not change? What in the world? That's absolutely insane. <laughs> That's nuts. What? It's normally a rare candy, and it was randomized into a rare candy. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. All right. To floor four. There's worst floor. There's no elevator on floor three. That's why. One, two, four. 
That's what you got. An elixir. That's good. That's good. That's good for the Elite Four. It really is. Okay. I did ruin your plans at Mount Moon. I certainly did. You were an imbecile. And you're an imbecile now. <laughs> Just shit talking the NPCs and Pokemon. No big deal. No big deal. Double kick. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's go for Vital Throw. Super power. That's a good move. That's a good move. Attack fell. And defense fell. We should KO then. Right? Oh! I did not want to use a Vital Throw again. I wanted to use Karate Chop. But I clicked way too fast through the prompts. Silly me. Metapod. Nope, we're staying in. That's fine. That is fine. Sky Uppercut. Oh, yes. A fantastic move. And it's even super effective. <laughs> what if Metapod's like Dark Type? That'd be pretty cool. A Dark Type Metapod. A Krabby. Beautiful. We'll just go for it again. We missed. Missed. Okay. Nothing too terrifying happened. Yeah, I think after this episode, Zack, the Crobat, is going to be good to go. That's a crit. And we're going to be able to start using them and put that EXP share onto probably our Ponyta, if I'm being honest. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's take this off. I, my fingers are too fast. All right. Again, too fast. Okay. Good stuff. Let's lead with Zack, actually. I feel like it's a good lead. Especially if extra sensory is actually a flat 80. Guess we'll see. I don't really believe that it is. Not for a move that has 30 uses. I feel like it's just too good. Not even Confusion has that many, and it's a 50. <laughs> I forgot Zack has Intimidate. That's so good. Does it actually? Is its power really that high? It looks like it is, even with the resist. Cosmic power. Oh, boy. Interesting move. Megahorn should do the trick. If it resists Psychic, it's probably weak to this. <laughs> Crobat came with his own type coverage moves. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Nuzleaf. This is normally a dark type mon. Extra sensory. Away we go. Again, not very effective, but it did a lot of damage, so I'm kind of buying the 80, 80, uh, 80 damage here. I think it's legit. I always felt like that move never really was that powerful, but who am I to guess? Who am I to guess? Sophia is level 18. Growlithe. We'll go ahead and switch just because our defense was lowered. And we're not going to have to heal before Giovanni. Not at all. Just going to use Crush Claw. And we one hit. Feels bad because it's my boy, but... We had to we had to do it anyway. We had to teach him a lesson for teaming up with Team Rocket. Cool. Alright guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all so much. Make sure you tune in next time we go uh we go live and we upload a new video because we've been having fun when we've been going live and I've been going live over on Facebook. So check out the link in the description to go to my Facebook if you guys are not already there. For those of you that are my patrons, thank you so much. I truly appreciate all of your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. You go above and beyond. For the rest of you, whether it's just watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, or sharing my content, any way that you support the channel is truly appreciated. And until next time, I will see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.